the seventh T3 Gadget Award, what makes this one the best yet? For me, what makes this award special is the breadth of new categories and industries that we've got here tonight. Fitness, sport, cars, all feature, and it really shows how tech is migrating from smartphones and tablets into a wider lifestyle world. It's a lifestyle proposition now, technology, and there needs to be one award that captures it all, and T3 just does it better than any of the others, I think. It's always good to see what's going on, what's new in the industry, and yes, it's always a great night. I think it's grown in recognition since it started. It seems to have been the showcase for many products coming to market. Just the atmosphere, you know, T3 is all about technology uh, and innovation and uh, there is certainly that kind of crowd in, in the room. I don't have to put on a black tie. It's a really glamorous but casual event full of uh, lots of the most fun people in technology. It's always good to have a set of awards that's a sort of definitive set of awards for an industry. I mean, I'm trying to think, I mean, obviously there's an equivalent in movies, isn't there? There's Oscars and things like that. So it's good to have, uh, it's good to have one that's sort of standing, standing out. I think it's a great night out, look, for anything else. And the production values that T3 throw at this is very nice. It's like a really good awards ceremony. And it's great to sort of see all the people involved in these. And uh, as we do, get a chance to talk to some of them about what they've done and what they've achieved after the event. Well this year we've seen an explosion in different areas, different industries. We've got everything from motoring, sport, fitness represented here. We've got new categories, we've got new faces and it's going to be an amazing night. particular category you're looking forward to seeing the result of? Absolutely, one of the new categories this year, tech moment of the year for me. Um, for me, it was uh, Felix Baumgartner Space Jump. I think everywhere, everyone will remember where they were when that happened. For me, I was in the kitchen cooking dinner and watching a man jump out of a spaceship. How is that even possible? I think uh, gadget of the year, actually, because there's so much to consider this year with new consoles, phones, cars and stuff like that. That's really going to be really hotly contested. I'd probably have to say the switch on a 4G. I mean, everything's changing now. Everything's super fast. And I think, you know, the first time that anybody picked out their mobile and got a 4G signal, that's something they're going to remember. Digital entertainment, I uh, think, because I think, like, streaming and videos on demand and stuff like that is so important now. Depends on who I am as a dad. Um, apps that my kids can use as a DJ, DJ equipment, headphones especially. I was very interested in the T3 headphones category just to see what I could possibly be using in a club or in a field. Oh, everything I think. Uh, obviously I'm, I'm a wheelchair racer so a lot of technology is involved in, in my racing chair and, and aerodynamics and everything else so there's a lot of technology involved in that but I'm a, a gadget freak as well you know with with all the uh, iPads and, and and then onto the music side I like uh, the, the, the CDJs and DJing and stuff like that so I'm, I'm right into my, my tech stuff at the moment. The category I'm most excited about has to be the tech moment of the year. We've got some great competitors in there everything from Felix Baumgartner falling from space being streamed live on YouTube to goal line technology arriving in football it's going to be fiercely contested and it's a really exciting new one for us. Well I think everybody wants to know what is the gadget of the year because it's, there's a lot of competition out there. Um, you know, Apple has been under pressure this year. Uh, will it fight back? Uh, Samsung has come up with lots of interesting new stuff. Um, all sorts of contenders. So that will be very uh, a very hot award this year, I think. I have to be honest, and I think it's the televisions. I mean, that's a, you know, I guess as a TV person, I would say that, wouldn't I? Um, but I am genuinely excited about this whole race to 4K. I think it's the arrival of the flying bicycle <laughs> because that, it's not quite the jetpack but it's a step in the right direction and if I had a fiver for the number of people who go oh, tomorrow's world where's the jetpack well now I can go do you know what British inventors have developed it and it looks like this.